I played Pacific Drive for 10 hours and here's some weird stuff I found. Right off the bat, my favorite thing I discovered has to be these random boost jumps out in the zone. Some gas stations you wander into have these deco vend machines and I got a sticker with some dogs on it from this one, which I unfortunately lost before I could make it back to my garage. But I did find a few little trinkets to customize my car with. Here's this little pirate ship hood ornament, which really puts the R in Arda, if you know what I mean. And of course I had to paint my wagon a deep blue, like the ocean's waves as a storm brews on the horizon. And then I was gifted this matching hood ornament by my dumpster friend, which I installed via the detailing station. Oh yeah, the dumpster. The game has these magic, friendly dumpsters that spit out random and sometimes very useful parts. There's one back at your garage that you can use after every run, and you may even find yourself a dumpster pearl. What's a dumpster pearl, you ask? I'm not quite sure, but they are pretty tough and oddly iridescent. Nothing a matter deconstructor won't solve, though. Apparently, this thing is made up of tons of scrap metal and steel sheets. That's a lot to pick up, so good thing my garage came with a handy dandy vacuum. There's also a locked room in the garage with a keypad that requires a four digit code. No idea how or where to find it, but I will definitely figure it out one day. Speaking of odd things in the garage, you can install your very own athletic simulation station to use in between going on supply runs and doing basic maintenance. I'm gonna need to practice. Obviously, in this world, there exists a magic goo that fixes just about everything that could go wrong with your car. Just slap it on and you're good to go. And once you're all fixed up, you can install up to four car abilities, including a handbrake, which lets you skid on demand. You may even impress any anomalies that are watching. You know, this game is actually pretty funny if you pay attention to the little details, something I certainly wasn't expecting to see, but a bit of cheeky humor is always welcome. While I haven't found any yet myself, your wagon will begin to develop quirks as you bond with it. Stuff like the hood popping open every time you close your passenger door. These can all be identified and fixed at the quirk station, which has quite the impressive list of options to choose from. Just about every part of your car can be affected by every other part of it in some weird and sometimes annoying ways. This is just one of the tactics the developers use to mess with you. Another is when you're under the pressure of a zone storm trying to escape before it rips your car apart and bam, a suspiciously placed fallen tree right before the exit. You'd be surprised how much this happens. Maybe we did something to offend all trees in our life before the zone. And then there's a ton of graffiti out in the world. Arda sucks. Doesn't make sense. Arda tricked us. Sick of this maze. Seems like the people don't like Arda for some reason. One that sums up my experience with the game very nicely. What is happening? With a nice blue Christmas tree off to the side. And some more tastefully done pieces. The 8-Ball, Bigfoot. I'd imagine that as you go deeper into the wilderness, these scribblings will only get wackier and more confusing. You may have noticed that there's lots of stuff suspended in the air, like rocks and debris, sometimes you, and there are also these plasma generators, but I do think this might have been a bug, although you never know with this place. At one point I found a flare gun, which seems like a pretty normal survival game thing, but then I started to wonder, who exactly am I signaling? Then I noticed this abductor heading in the same direction as the flare I just fired off. Guess they like the bright light? Now I can make a whole video just about the game's anomalies, which I probably will, let's be honest. But one of my favorite interactions with them has to be yeeting dust bunnies off my car. You can even turn them into scrap if you'd like. But then I tried to scrap one of these tourists and that didn't work out quite as nicely. And if you hit one, they all will explode. Thank you for joining me in what is probably episode one of weird things I found in Pacific Drive. In case you missed it, I did post a much more serious gameplay impressions video and a Q&A if you want to learn more about stuff like gameplay, quests, driving, and repairing. Music